Jesus here, and today I'm going to address something that has been bothering me for a long time, but yesterday it really got to me and I just had to make this video. It, it just forced me to. So today we're going to be talking about our EN tanky line community because, guys, it is messed up. You know, you know, we talk about tanky online itself messed up. We we talk about how you know there are glitches in the game, the moderators banned for no reason, and you know Sammy exposed different um, inconsistencies. The transparency of the women's um, tournament wasn't really there, um, and you know we kind of rant and rave that you know tanky online, you know it's going downhill and whatnot, and you know, and we do all this, but we fail to look at our YouTube community because our YouTube community is a reflection off of Tinky Online. It really is. Um, and our EN community is messed up. And I'm just sick and tired of, you know, just sitting around and seeing it sort of go downhill. Because we're seeing people leave, you know, the EN YouTuber community almost on a weekly slash daily basis. Uh, Tamim Productions is announced that he would be leaving. Um, this could be his last video. Uh, and I, like, you know, can't think of it too much right now, but we have other people, like my friend Hiresh, um, left. Uh, I'm not sure if he's coming back at least. Um, and we've had different people that come and go. And it's just really sad, but really true, um, how many people are leaving. And for the people who, who are leaving, you know, they're leaving behind, you know, a bunch of fans that are kind of lost. So now you have these new channels that are coming up, and then these new channels are, you know, basically stealing you blind. I'm talking to you guys, the viewers, right now. Because there are so many stinking fake giveaways. Yeah, that's right, fake giveaways. Um, that one, Michael and I were having a, a small conversation about this in one of his videos, because um, he said all giveaways basically don't show the, the winner. And so I was like, you know, trying, you know, talking about this with him. And, you know, I see that he's really right right now. Because nowadays we see that so many people are having fake giveaways. Here are three examples. Um, the first example we have is Sammy's giveaway. Now I talked to Sammy and he said, you know, the person, you know, was, was actually, you know, it was up to them to you know, have the giveaway. But he still announced it on his channel. Same with the other guy. We see another fake giveaway with, uh, you know, this channel right here. This channel right here. Because it's been over a month and they haven't announced any winner. I think you guys all remember the Chronix scandal. Where Chronix was a big YouTuber who basically, you know, tricked a bunch of other big YouTubers. And he had a bunch of fake giveaways. This was revealed when he had a giveaway for a PS4 and, like, some PS4 games. And, like, this is the biggest one he was able to complete. And he fooled like all the big YouTubers. I'm talking about like Below, I'm talking about um, Shy and Shiny, uh, Leo, which is uh, Mad Genius. Um, uh, gosh, who else? I think those were the main ones. Oh, maybe Libyan, I think. I mean, you know, he just pulled the wool. He, he scammed so many people. But the thing is, you guys fall for it. Viewers fall for it. They fall for the Vegas giveaways. You guys may be going, well, I will never fall for Chronix again. Um, Hacker It Up created a giveaway recently. It was taken down, but it was by this new, for this new channel, Zolex. Guess what? Zolex is a new Chronix. And over 600 people, you know, flocked and subscribed to Zolex. People are falling for fake giveaways almost on a daily basis. And it's stupid. And then where there's not giveaways, there's division. There's YouTube fights. Recently, I had an issue with a YouTube member, and he publicly uh, made a video about me. Because when the Three Wishes post stuff like this, his subscribers went to 480 to 440 in one day. I'm serious. His subscribers went down because he insulted um he insulted our channel like that. So he think he needs to rethink what he posts and stuff before he gets like a. Before he realized what um, what he did wrong, and maybe I'll make a video on this later because it was a funny situation. But at the same time, it divided him and I because he wasn't able to handle the situation privately, or that's where I wanted the situation. Same with you know Elias and Mad Genius, two channels that you know I wish they could have handled it privately, but they didn't. 
and we have, you know, where there's not uh, giveaways, where there's not, you know, fights, there's egos. I cannot tell you how arrogant some tanky players are. They think they just own content, and it drives me up the wall. I'll, I'll have, you know, somebody in my other group, and sometimes I'll go, oh, guy, man, this really copied my material. And, and, you know, sometimes it's actually true, you know, with the thumbnail, with thumbnails or, you know, similar. I've had, we've had three issues so far with copyright. One on a small channel of about 300, 400 subscribers. One on the large channel of, like, you know, 17K, which is Mad Geniuses. Um, and on another channel, which I can't think about at the moment. It was a non-English speaking channel. But these people get, like, when it's not, like, you know... Uh, the example was from a very well-known YouTuber. The YouTuber has a completely different style, and it doesn't even border on the uh, fact of, you know, copying. But it just bugs me that people's ego gets in the way of this, and they'll go, you know what, that's copying, when it's clearly not. And when there's not all that, when there's not fake giveaways, when there's not YouTuber fights, there's bad videos. You guys fall for bad videos. This guy, I think his name is uh, Apple TV. I think that's the name. He creates gold box videos. Doesn't do almost any editing. Like maybe he has cutting. That's it. He doesn't do any editing. And people have given him thousands of thousands of subscribers for nothing. You're giving somebody who does bad content a free pass. You're saying, this guy has bad content. That's all right, though, because he has bad content. There's nothing special about his content. He just has gold box videos. You know, and you'll see creators like me, uh, other YouTubers, kind of look at Apple TV and kind of, you know, be a little jealous. And I'm not saying I'm jealous of his numbers because, you know, I am. But I really wish his numbers were on somebody else that was more deserving, like my friend SARS26. He just hit 1K. And I was super excited for him. But I wish he hit, like, you know, 3 or 4K. But that's just the way it is. And, you know, you guys are falling for bad videos. There's fake giveaways people are falling for. There's tons of clickbait out there. Oh my gosh. Now, clickbait is a marketing strategy. I'm not going to lie about that. But at the same time, clickbait has gotten, like, so overboard. Like, I love Ufa's videos. I've loved his, like, earlier videos where he does gold bucks. But the clickbait in those and the clickbait that's now inspiring other people is insane. We have this guy, Apple TM pretty sure the video is going to be taken down, but he's stolen a video from another YouTuber. It's a gold god mode on. And what he did is he edited it to where you can't see um, the username or anything like that. It's so stupid. And he does all this for views, for likes, for subscribers, for that extra buck, whatever you want to call it. And it's completely lame and people are falling for it. And while the video is getting a ton of dislikes and the comment section's under fire, you know, he's still getting subscribers. People still are subscribing to this, you know, lying, lying guy. And if our YouTube community is dishonest, if we have fake giveaways, if we are, you know, our transparency is as low as tankies, and if we're insulting each other, if we're having fights, and we're not, you know, coming together as a community and standing up for what is right, then really what is our community? I, you know, will mention Tanky Online, the, the YouTuber community, to my parents every once in a while, and they go, why are you in that community? It doesn't sound like a great community to be in. And while most part, you know, I'm in this community to entertain my audience, to have high quality videos, or at least try to, you know, I, I kind of have to agree with them. But we also have, you know, these fake giveaways viewers fall for. We have, you know, insane clickbait that people fall for. We have you know, stolen videos that people fall for. And I'm done. I'm done. So I hope you're gonna you hope you're gonna choose right now. Are you going to be a viewer or not? And you might be going, well what do you mean a viewer? I mean somebody who subscribes, somebody who rates a video, somebody who will comment and give feedback. I want feedback. I want other people to have feedback. If you see a video out there is bad, I want you to say it's bad. I went in somebody's channel, I said the video was bad, and I got, like, you know, screamed at. I got a whole video made about me because I called somebody a noob. <laughs> so I know this has been a long video, and I know you guys have probably heard a lot, but I'm asking you as, uh, basically as a YouTuber, as a creator, 
I'm asking you, the audience, the viewers, the other YouTubers out there, will you not stand up with me and take care in content in our community? Because if we stop caring for our community, if we start letting people with fake giveaways get off scot-free, if we let the people with, you know, copyrighted videos that are actually from other people's videos, if we allow people who copy other YouTubers and their style, and if we copy, if we allow people who have bad videos just get a scot-free, like, 2, 3K subscribers, and we let people who, you know, fight and have, you know, trans, they, they, have, they lie, like Chronix and Zolex, if we let these people into our community and we allow them to stay, we're going to make our community less and less more attractive. We're going to show a bad community on Tanky and we're going to be no better than Tanky because no one's going to know what really Tanky is all about. They're just going to see a bunch of fake people. And I don't want to be fake. And I hope you right now as a viewer will take the stand. <laughs> this sounds so stupid, but it's so true right now. Hashtag bring back Tanky. Bring back Tanky Online's YouTuber community. Bring back Tanky. Thank you.